So let's have a quick look at division this week. Now I've got a simple problem here. I've got 15 divided by 4. And let's just try and understand quickly the concept of division. Well, division simply means dividing something. And here I've got 15 little squares. Now these squares could be anything. They could be Jaffa cakes. They could be cars. They could just be numbers. They could be pound coins. They, coins, they could be absolutely anything. And all we're doing is we're dividing them. So we're dividing our 15 here into 4. So splitting it into four different groups. So let's physically do that now. So I've got one here, I'll put it in this group. Into this one, into this one, into that one. So I've split part of my 15 into four here, but I've still got some left and I can probably split it a little bit more. So let's try again. Put another one in here, another one in here, another one in here, another one in here. Okay, so now I've got two in each of my circles. But I think I can still split it further because I've still got enough to split it at least once more. So I'll put one more over here, one more over here, one more over here, and one more over here. It's important to spot that I always put one in each. I don't just um, put one here and leave the rest. They have to have the e an even amount. Now you can see I've got now three cubes in each of my circles, but I've only got three left. Now I can't split them evenly because I'll have one circle left out. So I have to save these for my answer. Now let's have a look. So 15, I've divided it by four and when I split it into these four, I have three in each one. So my answer would be 15 divided by four gives me three. Then remainder, one, two, three, three. So 15 splits into four, three times with, with three left over or three remaining. And that's simply what division means. Now let's have a look at a little bit of a bigger problem. Let's go for 108 divided by seven. Okay. Now it's really important here that you know your times tables, so you're gonna to have to be practicing these at home like we ask you to. Because this is how I would set our division out. This is a formal written method for division. First of all, I'm gonna draw what we like to call our bus stop. So imagine this being our bus stop on our bus driving along the road. And my first number always goes inside my bus stop. Making sure I space out my digits nice and evenly because I'll need to see them um, in their place value columns. And now my smaller number, the one that I'm um, dividing my large number into, they go on the outside. And this is how it works. So I'm still dividing 108 in, by seven, but I do it a step at a time. And an important rule here, always start with your hundreds. With addition, with subtraction, with multiplication, we always start with our units. But it's important in division that we always start with our hundreds. So let's start here. Seven. How many times does seven go into one? Now that's just another phrase for one divided by seven. So how many times does seven go into one? Or one divided by seven mean the same thing. Now if I know my seven times table here, it will be easy. I can count up one times seven is seven, two times seven is 14, three times seven is 21, four times seven is 28, etc but none of those equal one. In fact, it doesn't matter in any part of my seven times table, seven times by anything never gets me one. So seven can actually never go into one, so it doesn't go in at all. But I've still got to use this one somewhere, so we cross him out and we carry him over down here. And now we read this number as 10, because I've got one, for my zero. <laughs> seven, how many times does it go into 10? Well, I can count up my sevens again. Seven, one times seven is seven. Two times seven is 14. Oh, so two sevens go into 14, but I've only got 10 here. So seven only goes into 10 once, because seven times one is seven. 
and I've got three left over because it goes in once to get me seven and I still have eight, nine and ten. So that's three left over. So that three gets carried over here. Now I do seven into 38. Now again, it's really important we know our seven times table. So I go one times seven is seven, two times seven is 14, three times seven is 21, four times seven is 28, five times seven is 35. Oh, I'm close to 38 and that's five times that seven has gone into 35. Six times seven is 42. Ooh, that's too far. So my five times seven, which was 35, is the closest I can get. So seven goes into 38, five times remainder. Ooh, how many is left over between 35 and 38? Well, it's 36, 37, 38. Remainder, three. So our answer would be 108 divided by seven, 108 divided by seven equals 15. I don't have to put this zero here because it's not doing anything as a placeholder there. Remainder, three. And that is my answer.